Hello everyone and welcome back to the Theme Park Obsession video. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. Today I'm at Six Flags Magic Mountain to check up on the all new roller coaster project, Wonder Woman, Flight of Courage. How about you and I? Dive right in. We made it up to the front entrance of Six Flags Magic Mountain. It says no re-entry after 9 p.m. on Fright Fest nights because tonight, the time of filming this, it is a Fright Fest night. You have a few more days to check out Fright Fest. It's a lot of fun. I'll show you some clips later on in the video as we get deeper in the park. But also I'm noticing up here they have, look at the COVID-19 test because in order to visit Six Flags Magic Mountain, you have to provide a negative COVID test from the past 72 hours or a vaccination card. And that is kind of nice that they offer COVID tests for those that don't have a vaccination. So you can just wait in this line over here. They have those tents off to the side. They give you the test. It's a quick, rapid test. It'll tell you the result just in a few minutes. And you'll be clear to go into the park. And we finally made it in the park. Not too long of a wait at all, especially now that they're checking all that information. It's like five minutes to get in, which is really good. So shout out to the uh, crew out front at Six Flags Magic Mountain for making a speedy entry and you know here at the front of the park if you're here early for fright fest i suggest that you get your maze pass now look the line's not that bad at all if you wait until later on in the evening the line will stretch for a very long time and it's probably like a 45 minute wait later on in the evening versus now it's probably only like five or ten now instead of going the normal way up the hill we're going to beeline it around towards full throttle work our way around the park that way because we're going to check up on the all-new roller coaster project which has now recently been announced yeah just a couple days ago six flags magic mountain announced Wonder Woman Flight of Courage, the all new single rail roller coaster coming to the park. It's an RMC Raptor coaster. For those that don't know what an RMC Raptor coaster is, RMC is the company that makes the coaster, same company that did Twisted Colossus. And the Raptor models are the same ones like up north, California's Great America and in Texas. It's also the all new one called Stunt Pilot at Silverwood in Idaho. Those just opened up. But here at Magic Mountain, we're getting a very large version of those coasters and it's going to be a record breaker it's going to be the tallest and longest single rail roller coaster in the world notice over here at the golden bear theaters they have a stage set up for a show for fright fest grave games Woo! yeah fright fest has a few more days remaining remember you don't need a separate ticket in order to enjoy fright fest you can come here during the day like this enjoy the rides and attractions and then later on in the evening at 7 p.m all the scary monsters come out and the mazes open up it's actually a great time uh, to do Fright Fest in that particular order. Because sometimes what happens is people come here later on in the evening at around like seven and then they wanna do the rides as well and they're not able to do all the mazes and the rides. So my suggestion is to come here earlier on in the morning, do all the rides during the day and then in the evening do the mazes and see all the shows and stuff for Fright Fest. <laughs> Made it over to Goliath and I've noticed, look at that, Lex Luthor's Drop of Doom is currently down. Maybe it'll open up later on today. One of my favorites here at Six Flags, I love that drop tower. 400 feet in the air. Yeah, both sides are not operating at the moment. Oh, is Superman coming? No, false alarm. I thought Superman was on its way. Hopefully they'll open it up soon. Maybe on my next visit, Lex Luthor will be open. Oh, here comes Superman. Oh yeah. And over here at the former Green Lantern site, which is now going to be home to Wonder Woman Flight of Courage, you can see all the footers have been poured, so that's really exciting. That means the next step is uh, vertical construction. It's crazy to see this project progress extremely fast. You know, it was a lot faster than the West Coast Racers construction. They had a little bit of hiccups on that particular coaster, but this one looks to be going at lightning speed as, as, as fast as what Wonder Woman would uh, run if she's... Uh, yeah, as you can tell, I know a lot about superheroes. I am the superhero connoisseur. <laughs> what I'm really excited for is to see the skyline change because now we're going to have a big 131 foot tall roller coaster right next to Riddler's Revenge. It's going to look quite interesting against Riddler's Revenge's record breaking drop. So it's going to be, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun to watch them put this thing up here in the next few weeks. I'm just so excited because I love single rail attractions. I've been on a couple of them. I've been on the one at California's Great America, and I've been on the one in Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. 
and they're just so much fun. And the fact that we're getting a giant one here at Magic Mountain is so cool. Walking out of the DC area, I've noticed that these markers are on the ground. So I wonder if they're gonna alter this particular area. Look at these, there's flags and, uh, and the planter here and they go all the way across. So yeah, I wonder if they're gonna come in here and rip all this up and kind of reconfigure this particular area because with the addition of Wonder Woman, they're also building a new restaurant and they're gonna spruce up a lot of the retail locations over here and I think you're gonna add some more retail locations. So yeah, they might be doing some work over here once the coaster's done. Here's another view from Riddler's Revenge and Justice League. Yeah, the drop is gonna go right here towards Justice League and you're gonna go out and back a couple times then hit the brake run. Ours is uh, pretty much a clone of the one at Six Flags Great Adventure called Jersey Devil, except ours is a foot taller and has a little bit of a wave turn at the end into the brake run. Now, one thing that I hope comes to flourishing is in the concept, they showed a lot of greenery around the track layout and in the animation video. So I hope when this thing is done, they put a lot of trees in because this area of the park desperately needs some shade. Continuing to cruise around the park over here by Jetstream, I've noticed that they've installed these new claw machines, the Metro Cranes is what they call them, and you can come in here and grab a prize. Made our way over to West Coast Racers. This is the one of the scare zones in this particular area. It's actually a new scare zone. I'll show some clips of what it looks like at night here. It's pretty nice. And this particular scare zone is called the Dead Zone. Yeah, it's all neon. Oh, there goes West Coast Racers. Oh my goodness. Was not expecting that at all. Anyways, it's really cool at night. It's all neon. All the characters glow in the dark too. It's really cool. Made it up here to Ninja. Yeah, look at the line for Ninja. It stretches all the way outside. So yeah, it's a very busy day today at Six Flags Magic Mountain. So I would assume that later on this evening, it's gonna be really crowded for Fright Fest. But let's head back down the hill and take the helpful Honda Express. Yeah, as we're making our way down Samurai Summit to the bottom of the hill, I've noticed that they're testing some paint on Tatsu's support structure. Looks like they're testing out some green. Uh, I wonder if we'll see a full repaint of Tatsu very soon. This has been a long time coming, I think. And Tatsu has been needing a repaint for a very long time just because, you know, all the roller coasters out here in Valencia sit out in the sun, they get sun bleached, and Tatsu's, uh, you know, support structure has been sitting out there for a while. It hasn't gotten a paint job in some time, so we'll keep an eye on that. Made it inside the Six Flags Emporium and noticed that these wood little models from Coaster Dynamics are available. They have Goliath, they have X2, and I think that's all they have now. Yeah, they don't see any. I don't see any other ones, but aren't these really neat? Yeah, they have the metal models, but now they have the wood ones. We're going our way back to the parking lot. Yeah, Hurricane Harbor has ended its normal operating season until next year. You know, honestly, though, in California, there's a lot of hot days. They can get away with, like, doing some weekends because it, <laughs> it gets pretty warm here still throughout the year. Well, that's going to do it for today's video from Six Flags Magic Mountain. I hope you enjoyed this very quick update on the new coaster. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel and you love these videos and more, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so stay up to date on every time I post new videos. I have an Instagram account. I'll leave that link down below in the description as well as a huge shout out and a thank you to my Buy Me A Coffee supporters. You guys are absolutely amazing. But other than that, though, I hope you have a beautiful day, morning, evening, whatever it is. And I'll see you next time in the park. Bye.